officer David Sires was enjoying a cold beer on his day off at a saloon on 2nd and Washington when a gunshot was heard outside. Although he was not in uniform, his policeman mentality led him to investigate. Once outside, many witnesses pointed to a man running away. Officer Sires caught up to him at the corner of 3rd and Yesler. The man told Sires to stay back, but Sires failed to identify himself as an officer and the man shot Sires in the throat. As the man fled, a woman came out of a brothel and saw David Sires dead on the floor. David Sires became the first officer in the city of Seattle to be killed in the line of duty. The man was later caught and identified as Ben Payne. He was placed into custody to await for trial. Three months after the death of David Sires, the city still mourned the tragic death of their officer, who was regarded as a happy and open-hearted man. His murder left a feeling of deep indignation in Seattle, and unless his slayer met justice at the hands of the law, the people would take justice into their own hands. On January 1882, George Reynolds, an ordinary man, was taking a walk when he was approached by two individuals. Their plan was to rob him. Reynolds refused to comply to the robber's demands, pulled out his revolver, but it was too late. Both robbers opened fire on him. George Reynolds died of gun wounds to the chest. The robbers fled, but the citizens of Seattle caught up and found them four hours later. When the robbers were taken to the police officers, the angry crowd wanted to take justice into their own hands. The angry mob took the robbers from the officers and dragged them to what is now Pioneer Square Park and hung the two men from the trees. The angry mob, still thirsty for blood, decided to take vengeance for their beloved officer, David Sires. They stormed into the jail, fought off the sheriff, and dragged Ben Payne out of his cell into the same trees in Pioneer Square Park. Ben pleaded his innocence, claiming that the shooting was an accident, for he thought he was being robbed. The mob didn't care, and they hung him. All three men were left there to set a warning for future criminals. The sheriff in charge of guarding the jail was Lois V. Wyckoff. After the mob of over 200 people took Ben Payne to hang, Sheriff Wyckoff was left in shock and suffered a heart attack. He was 52 years of age and served for 19 years as a sheriff.